Hello and welcome to the Stephen Mendes Late Night Channel. Tomorrow morning students will build the circuit shown here. This is a first time circuit and they're trying to implement that equation, a Boolean expression there in logic and the truth table is given. I have had to use three additional inverters because I did not have a 7411. Students will build a circuit with three ICs. A 7404 hex inverter, a 7411, three triple, uh, three input and the gate, and a 7432 which is a quad two input OR gate. I just had to use a 7410 which is NAND instead of the AND which is 7411 so mine is going to look a little more complicated in terms of the wires but the functionality will be the same okay we can make this video one way or the other don't worry to pay any mind to all these other circuits there that's on the breadboard we're just wiring the circuit up here on the left where you see the two ICs okay so the first thing you want to do is you want to get some hookup wire and you want to hook from the black see where it comes right here to the blue line that's your negative supply rail that will provide power to your ICs and then you want to hook a red wire to the plus 5 volts where it says plus 5 volts and you hook a red wire to that post just unscrew the post and screw it onto the wire and um, bring that here and put that to the red line so all these holes here on the side here with the red are connected to power and all these holes here on the side with the blue are connected to ground on top here we've plugged in an IC this is a 7404 and here we have a 7432 and I said to you we don't have a 7411 with us tonight so we will have to put a 7410 even if they don't have the dot on the left they have the notch so that identifies one end of the IC from the other and as long as you find the notch I don't know if I can zoom in on the notch or if you can even see it there but you'll have one to examine uh, the notch means that the pin 1 is on the left hand side with the notch to the top so basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to insert this IC into the board now you will notice that there's a sort of gutter running up here and you put the ICs across the gutter and then you have four uh, possible connection holes for each pin so we're going to put the IC in here now okay guys now look at this closely pin 14 pin 14 here at the top is the power and uh, we have a little jumper wire connecting pin 14 remember all these are connected together so we have pin 14 being connected with a little piece of wire to this red line so we have pin 14 here, pin 14 here, and pin 14 here and the connection, this is called a rail this is the plus 5 volt rail coming down here now there's a break in it at this point a break in it but we don't mind notice here we have not connected it below if we connected it below we would have to jumper it or put a piece of wire to connect so we have here now on pin 7 going to the blue rail so pin 7 goes there and there and there this is best practice huh and we have the black wire going to the ground pin, uh, ground terminal and the red wire going to the plus 5 volts so you're gonna set up all your circuits this way this is the first thing you do you choose your ICs you put them in your digital TTL ICs and you set it all up here at the top we have a 7404 hex inverter 
Next we have, in, or you will have in your case, a 7411, which is a, a triple three input and gate. And then you will have at the bottom a 7432, which is a quad or gate. So now we can begin to hook our logic together. Okay, we're going to use this blue rail at the top, running along the top, to actually test your circuit. So you're going to put a ground wire from your ground here so that this blue rail is connected to this blue rail here. See that black wire connecting the blue rail to the blue rail. And then you're going to put, pick three colors for your A, B, and C, which are your input. And you're going to put... In this case, we have sort of yellow for A, blue for B, and green for C. And you're going to put them into the input of your inverters here for this particular circuit. So you're going to have the yellow one going into pin 1. Then you skip a pin, you're going to have the blue one going into pin 3. And then you skip a pin, and you're going to have the green one going into pin okay so that's how you're going to set up all your circuits when we come to test it we're going to remove the wires one at a time or several at a time and when we remove them from the ground connection they will immediately go high so we can put a high or a low this way onto your circuit this is how we test it in the beginning without switches without logic switches on this particular board. This is why I'm building it like this. Later on as you get more advanced we transfer you to the trainer. Okay the time has come to test the circuit. As you can see the power is on and here are our A, B and C. So when we lift the wire out of the ground connection on the C we are applying a 1 to the circuit the light does not come on we put it back into the ground we lift the B wire out of the circuit and the light still does not come on now we lift the B and C wire out of the circuit and the light comes on. That indicates that we have a 3. Okay, a 3. 0, 1, 1 on the input. Now we take out the 4. And we take out the 5. And so we have a light on on the 5. 1, 0, 1. Now finally we put this back in. and we take out the 6 so we have 1 1 0 and we have a light on on the 6 and finally we take out the C so we have 1 1 1 and we get a 0 output because the light is out now you may wonder why all this pulling in and out of wires to put in your thing when we could uh, put in your binary when we could just put it into the pencil box trainer and use the switches well we're going to do that in the later experiments but when we're teaching students how to wire a circuit for the first time we don't want them on the pencil box this these breadboards here are much more rugged and all you can do is use wire and a few ICs and there's limited damage you can do of any kind so we wire the first few combinational circuits using the breadboard 
and then when the students can safely wire them and test them themselves then we go to the pencil box advanced logic trainer thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video